reach now. Do I? Come on, I've got you. Up. I can't make it. Yes, you can. Come on. Come along, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> oh, Roger, this is silly. I know, but I'm sentimental. <laughs> What's your problem? I said, what's your problem? How are you today, sir? Is that really your idea of how to run a newspaper? I don't know how to run a newspaper, Mr. Thatcher. I just try everything I can think of. Charge, you know perfectly well there's not the slightest proof that this... Our murders off the Jersey Hello, coast. Hello, Mr. Bernstein. Excuse me, Mr. Bernstein. Can you Payne. prove it isn't? This just Mr. Bernstein, in. I'd like you to meet Mr. Thatcher. I'll just How do you do, Mr. Thatcher? Leland, uh, Mr. Thatcher, my ex-guardian. We have no secrets from our readers, Mr. Bernstein. Mr. Thatcher is one of our most devoted readers. He knows what's wrong with every copy of the Inquirer since I took over. Read the cable. Girls delightful in Cuba, stop. Could send you prose poems about scenery, but don't feel right spending your money. Stop. There is no war in Cuba. Signed, Wheeler. Any answer? Yes, dear Wheeler, you provide the prose poems. I'll provide the war. That's <laughs> fine, Mr. Kane. Yes, I rather like myself. So, right away. I right came away. to see you yes, about this Mr. campaign Thatcher. of yours. Mm -hmm. This Inquirer campaign against the public transit company. Mr. Thatcher, do you know anything we could use against them? Still the college boy, aren't you? Oh, no, Mr. Thatcher. I was expelled from college. A lot of colleges, you remember. I remember. Charles. 
I think I should remind you of a fact that you seem to have forgotten. Yes. That you are yourself sir. one of the largest individual stockholders in the public transit company. The trouble is you don't realize you're talking to two people. As Charles Foster Kane, who owns 82,364 shares of public transit preferred, you see, I do have a general idea of my holdings. I sympathize with you. Charles Foster Kane is a scoundrel. His paper should be run out of town. A committee should be formed to boycott him. You may, if you can form such a committee, put me down for a contribution of $1,000. My time's On the other hand, I am the publisher of the Inquirer. As such, it's my duty, and I'll let you in on a little secret. It's also my pleasure to see to it the decent, hard-working people in this community aren't robbed blind by a pack of money-mad pirates just because they haven't anybody to look after their interests. I'll let you in on another little secret, Mr. Thatcher. I think I'm the man to do it, you see. I have money and property. If I don't look after the interests of the underprivileged, maybe somebody else will. Maybe somebody without any money or property. Yes, yes, yes. And that yes. would money be too bad. Well, I happened to see your financial statement today, Charles. Oh, did you? Now, tell me... Honestly, my boy, don't you think it's rather unwise to continue this philanthropic enterprise? This inquirer that's costing you a million dollars a year? You're right, Mr. Thatcher. I did lose a million dollars last year. I expect to lose a million dollars this year. I expect to lose a million dollars next year. You know, Mr. Thatcher, at the rate of a million dollars a year, I'll have to close this place in 60 years. <laughs>